reading a lot of these poets and these poems like I did in high school was an interesting experience uh, because some of them gave me a, a gay perspective on historical events. We talk about these various people and events throughout history in high school classes and always they'd kind of be straightened out. People wouldn't talk about the gay angle. And it's really not much of a wonder that I work today with groups like the Rainbow History Project, um, really trying to uncover and to work on revealing gay life and gay experience uh, in these historical events that occurred in the lives of people who, who came before. One of those events that we learned quite a bit about, did whole units on, uh, was the Holocaust. And this poem is by Walter Borowski, a Boston-based poet who worked with the Fag Rag and Good Gay Poets Collectives. And the poem is called Invisible History. My shrink told me it was unnatural to be obsessed with the Nazi extermination of homosexuals. Look at me, I'm normal, he said. I sleep nights, and I'm healthy enough to listen to your stories, and others worse than yours, and I still have sex, and I'm Jewish. So what's with these nightmare pogroms? Find yourself a hot guy to go to bed with, or do it on the floor of his car, but stop it with these death camps. I knew he was right, that his people had lost millions more than my people, but piles of emaciated, tortured, worked to death, gassed to death, clubbed to death bodies resemble each other, and they resemble us. Look at that man on top of the others. Look at his beard. He could be me. When I was six, my father first told me about liberation of the camps by the Allies. He was U.S. Army, and they entered at last, and those bodies, he said, those bodies. By the time I was 15, my eye doctor showed mercy to me, put me on sleeping pills. Circles around my eyes, I told him I couldn't sleep. And when I did fall, I found myself behind wire, barbed or electric, my head shaved, an empty expression leering back at me, at everyone in this odd century of horror, so systematic, so organized. Hey. I'll give you these pills, he said, but don't abuse them. And cut out the fantasies. You're not even Jewish. 